What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is time for our new series. This is Brother, A Tale of Two Sons. Uh, I think this came out a couple years ago to what I believe was critical acclaim. This is a Star Breeze joint. They made a bunch of good games so far. I believe they're the Darkness People. Another game I loved. But I'm going to hope that this works with my controller and not with the keyboard because I like my controller better. Uh, let's go. I think it works the way I want it to. I thought the game was about to start. Do we have subtitles on here? No. So when they talk, I will try not to talk. Let's do this. Let's do this. Get her! He's not even trying. You're, that's how you tip a boat over. I've done that before. That is how you tip a boat over. That kid's a stone cold murderer. Are they speaking in Simlish? Did I somehow change the setting to the wrong language? I'll have to check that out then. Game looks pretty nice. I have my V-Sync turned on to lock the frame rate. Sorry, how to do that? All right. These are like tank controls for pulling this basket. Like, holding, I'm holding right, right now to walk. Can I make one of them stop? I can. They slide funny. And they sidestep. I'm holding like, right, right now. And up makes me turn this way for some reason. And down makes me turn this way. I don't know why. Oh, hold on, let's see here. No, there were no languages, okay, whatever. Leave them there. It's a very complicated game. That's all I'm saying. Their feet clip through the freaking bridge. They're melting. They are melting through the bridge right now. Okay. 
So left thumbstick moves big brother. The right thumbstick moves little brother. Maybe that's why I couldn't steer them properly before. Well, help! They're very slow to respond to my commands. Who wants to guess the little one can jump up things? Who wants to guess the little, little one needs the big one's help? I really don't understand these controls. Or, I've yet to get used to them. This is a more fair and accurate statement. Alright, so now we're going to have to double... Oh my god. I'm doing a double 360 on the controller right now. MLG barrel spinning. Can I put the little one in the back? Big one in the front? Go at the same speed there, okay. If they're not going to talk English, I might talk more of the cutscenes then. Cute little town. I'd live there. Comfy bed. One thing will save your father. This is a wa oh, okay. You must find the tree. If you plant him at the bottom of this tree, he will still die. But he'll be tree food instead. Then you can go talk to the tree and be like talking to your dad inside the tree. I wonder if there's like collectibles in this game or anything. Let's go play in the water. Yeah! My girlfriend drowned in there. I can't go in there. Swimming's bad. Don't be a baby, he says. Use your muscles. Swim. This seems dangerous. Alright, that's that's really cool. I think that guy in the barrel that was up there farther was actually supposed to stop me. But because I'm defiant and I just jumped in the water, it didn't matter. I would almost guarantee that's the case now. Okay, so that kid was trying to taunt me before. Okay, so if I hold up... In weird, okay. I think the trick for this game is, if I just hold down their interact triggers the whole time... It's much more Assassin's Creed-esque. It's basically like a free-running button, it seems like. Where they just do what they're supposed to do. Mm. Oh, it smells delicious. 
and it locks you in that cutscene until you let go of the button. Little tutorial there. Pretty scenic. I think at some point I'm going to have to slow myself down with this game and not try to run both of them around at the same time. It's a not so scary scarecrow. But when I try to do both these kids at the same time, I seem to have problems. Unless little will actually I don't have my problem is when they get when their sides switch. Like this is confusing to me because they're like backwards compared to what analog sticks are on. But if they're this way, I seem to be okay. So you're gonna just keep holding down the free run button. Like it's nothing. Kick down that fence. Tear down that wall. Hello. Anybody home? That's a big weird puppy. Where did I let the little puppy at? Stick him! Get him! Now the big... Hey, the game just put me over here, that's cool. Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. Trying to rotate the camera, it didn't do anything. <laughs> ah, you freaking so and so. Meepo the meepo! Meepo the meepo! That's exactly what he is. That freaking meepo the meepo. That's gonna be my new word for a while. I feel like you actually are talking a language, probably. There's animals for days in this game. The older brother doesn't like cats. He's allergic, I decide. I've, I'm not gonna, probably not going to do it at all, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure there's an achievement in this game for sitting on all the benches. If I recall correctly when this came out. For my achievement addiction was under control. I used to keep track of stuff like that. Look good, kick the wall off and press the button. Tom. Tree. We must go find the tree. So one of the main reasons I wanted to play this is I have a younger brother that I used to go on adventures with. And we used to do crazy stuff, like run around the woods and then have a dog chase after him. And all sorts of other bad stuff like that. So I'm going to pretend I'm the big one, as seen here, doing the Madge 360s. And he can be this one. The one melting into the ground, because his 360s are too hype. Could go the long way. Could go the short way. No kids can. Is that a squirrel or? I think if you pull the action button when they're not doing anything, it seems like it makes them point towards where you're supposed to go.
But no, I think if I just pull the Big Brother button by itself. It says which way to go. When I pull the Little Brother button, he shakes the poop out of his leg. And poop out of his pants. That seems awful rude if they're just to run down there and play the harp. But I bet you the little one can play. Ready? Three, two, one. I do like how almost everything in this game seems to be interactive so far. They're definitely setting up distinct personalities for both the kids. The older one's a little more adventury. The younger one's a little more artsy. Stupid dog. I mean, this game really is good looking. Get back over here, stupid. 